Hello. Hello, everybody. Let me get on. I always do the comments on my phone because I feel weird typing while I'm on. Are there comments? No, but like when we get comments. Uh. Turn that down. Okay. Um, oh, shoot. And then I just got out of it. Oh, yeah. Do you like my new drawing I got done? Yeah, your commission. Yeah. I thought it turned out really cute. Yeah, it was adorable. Of course. I was thinking of getting something done, but too lazy to search for an artist. <laughs> Use the one I did. Um, I know that Chandler used it and Zoe from Zoe Reads did it for her book club, so that's why. I How much was it? it? Um, 20 and then I think I paid more to have two dogs in it. It's either 20 or 25, and I played either 25 or 30. I can't remember. Was it just the banner? It was just the picture, and then I just added the text. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 I mean, I have one dog. <laughs> Which would uh, be free, so I'm pretty sure. With the drawing. You should do it, and then Boo can be on your channel. <laughs> I mean, I he's you. in almost every video anyway. <laughs> He's funny. All right. Uh, do you want to start with what you're currently reading? Yes. I am reading Reborn Yesterday. Good. Eva Bailey. Her very first PNR. Even though the cover doesn't look PNR. Yeah, like okay. time travel. Is it time travel? Is that the only yeah. paranormal? Oh. Like vampires. Um, but I'm really liking it so far. Mm. I don't know if I should pre-order that. Well, like, order before Polygon, because I think she doesn't have a pre-order. Oh. Hmm. If I should try. I don't know. But I haven't heard anything. It comes out in a while, though. I'm surprised she sent those out so early, and she's waiting until it's 24. Two weeks. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just used to indie authors not giving out ARCs until, like, two days beforehand, so. <laughs> <laughs> Got it together before yeah. that. I, mean, I think she, she writes fast. Like, she always gets – all her ARCs are really way mm -hmm. before – I mean, and she's then, doing paperbacks before the yeah like, arcs. And some authors don't even do paperbacks until after the ebook's out. Like I just yeah. ordered um, King of the South, Cal Reed. Uh huh. Um, paperbacks just went live today, but that's been out. Yeah, like, days now. So, I yeah. mean, that that's usual. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, I'm reading two things. Well, I'm actually reading three, but I'll just talk about two because I listened to it. Audio, and then I have an ebook, and then I have a physical book. But Chain of Gold. Mm -hmm. I am. Are you all caught up? No. So <laughs> this <laughs> is a direct sequel to the Infernal Devices. So it's about their kids. Mm -hmm. So you oh, don't, yeah. unless I'm missing something, you don't have to read any of the other Shadow Hunter books from the yeah. Mortal Instruments yeah. series because that's I'm not all caught up. So I don't know. I'm not, I've only read three of the Mortal Instruments and then the Infernal Devices. And then I read Ghost of the Shadow Market. Shadow Market. It probably spoils the future series, but if you don't mind that. Well, really? Because that takes place after this. Um, I mean. That's what I don't get. Unless I'm like being spoiled without knowing it. I don't know. It takes place after this book, so. It's good so far, though. I like it. This comes out on Tuesday, so that's exciting. Mm -hmm. And then, um, oh, I'm listening to In the Unlikely Event. Oh, no. Nathan, and it's good so far. I'm only an hour into it, and I know you hated it. And I know a lot of people have hated it. But Angry God's already on Audible Escape, too. Yeah. Which was shocking. Which I know you hate it as well, so. <laughs> I mean, okay, in the unlikely event, okay, both of them, they start off great. Like, lots of potential. It's really good so far, so. It's more towards the end that I'm like, really? Is there, there's cheating, right? Um, well, he, like, has sex with someone else in front of her, but they're not, like, together. Oh, yeah. ew. I'm gonna hate that. Yeah, it's annoying. <laughs> okay. Oh, it's not her sister, is it? <laughs> that, I'm at that part right now where she, like, meets her sister and she's, like, angry at her because she likes him. And she just met her sister for the first time. I mean, do you want to know? No, it's okay. I'll I'll finish it in a few days. So it's on audio. Yeah. Um, but 
I was like, oh, like one of the guys' names is Callum, right? Cal? And then the other guy's is Malcolm. And I was like, why do you have names that sound exactly the same? In in the unlikely event? Yes. Oh. <laughs> is one of them. And then in the past, when she's meeting that guy for the first time, it's and I can't keep them straight. I was like, Malcolm and Callum literally are the same name backwards. And I'm just like, I can't. <laughs> I can't keep I mean, them straight. I think of them as Mal. But which one? I don't know. The, the guy in the past is Mel? Wait, who's Callum? The boyfriend? The boyfriend. Oh, Mal is like the hero. Okay. Well, she has a boyfriend right now in the future. Yeah. So. Mm-hmm. Everyone sucks. Like literally everyone sucks in the book. <laughs> I'm getting that now when she walks into her sister's house and he's there. She's like, I can tell he's been here a lot and that she likes him. I'm just like, okay. (laughs) Okay. But yeah, so I'm listening to that. So we'll see how that goes. And then I might listen to Angry God after that just to to get it over with so I can figure out what happens. Yeah. I just finished listening to Avery Flynn, Parental Guidance, her hockey. Oh, yeah. With the illustrated cover. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It was cute. It was really short. So I finished it in like, I Three feel like hours. I'm reading a lot lately. I go on Twitter and there's always an update that you finished a book. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Like ever since I started like barring all the KU audiobooks. Which I didn't is- know that was a thing. Oh, really? No. It's mostly only Montlake or like Amazon published books. Okay. It's not KU general. Okay. Um, yeah. I had like a two month free thing. So I just borrowed all the audiobooks that I could get. Is there a category for that? Yeah, I think there is. Okay. But yeah, I was planning on doing a video for that sometime. Well, you said so I can get some recommendations. Yeah. Um, but now I'm borrowing stuff from my library audiobook. Mm-hmm. They have a lot. So I got that one. It was cute, but like, I didn't love it all that much. Mm-hmm. Um, rom-com, lighthearted stuff. Fake dating. I haven't read any of hers. Yeah, me either. That was my first time. Did it have a lot of hockey in it? Um, he's He went viral in some video, but like a bad kind of viral. So oh. he needs, you know... Oh, is that why they fake date for his reputation? Yeah. Okay. Um, he plays, like, maybe towards the end. Okay. But not a lot. I like it when my hockey romances actually have hockey in them. I mean, <laughs> well, I understand when they start. You don't sports, so. <laughs> um, okay, but we can talk about this. Yes. My first time reading it. Lacey, how many times have you read it? Um, this is my second time, so okay. I didn't reread. Or how far are you in the whole series? I'm on book 10, or I finished book 10. Okay. I gave it three stars. Mm-hmm. <laughs> um, I feel like it read a lot like the first Black Dagger Brotherhood book, where I just, like, wasn't that into it, but I want to read more. Mm-hmm. I don't know. I didn't, I'm still really confused about all of the things in the world yeah there's a lot there's a ton and I'm just like I like he's a werewolf but not I mean yeah I don't think he fully well he shifts a little bit but they didn't really explain what it even was he's like well you don't know until you see it what it actually is they call themselves like hey so not legit werewolves I guess it's some beast some beast going on right and she even asked like well you girl like a snout and she's like no I don't know. You confuse me. Yeah, there's like just a lot of stuff. Like her Valkyries, um, vampire stuff. Yes. And I think too much happened too fa- quickly at the end. Like, I don't like slow books, and this was very slow. For like, 150 pages, they were literally just like in a hotel room. Oh. And in a car right. and in a hotel room. Yeah. And I was, I was a bit bored because I didn't, I don't know. Cause she didn't like him and I didn't like get why he liked her except for that it was his mate, which I mean, is the whole point, but mm-hmm. yeah. Um, well, I gave this four stars when okay. I first read it. 
Um, like I really liked it, but also wasn't perfect to me. Probably the ending too, but like, I mean, I love the characters. <laughs> I loved Lachlan. Um, like the whole him ripping off his leg to go oh, after yes. her. I was like, <laughs> so that beginning, I don't know why, but it made me think of Vampire Diaries so much because they always like trap people for like hundreds of years and like, didn't they like throw someone in the bottom of the ocean? Like, yeah, watch the Rocker Queen. Yes. And Vampire Diaries? Oh, I don't know. Oh, did you ever watch it? I watched like the first two, three seasons. Oh. Well, I swear someone they just like locked up and then like threw in the bottom of a lake. Just and they like would wake up and like drown and then wake up and drown like e endlessly. And I yeah. feel like that's a very much like what they did with him. Mm -hmm. And then there's always like something that makes them like strong enough to break it and like get out which is what he did obviously chewing he didn't chew off his leg how do you even do that he just broke his leg bone like, and like yeah basically clawed it off and then ripped it and so then he was limping the whole book because it was still <laughs> regenerating <laughs> he his leg off and i was like yeah. yes yeah yeah i don't know i just i don't know if i liked her that much Mm-hmm. because she was very much the like I don't know how to describe her. Innocent and quiet and not yeah, violent. And a... Timid and mm -hmm. <laughs> of, of all the Valkyrie, she is the most timid. Yeah. I mean, because like at one point, her I don't even know like her aunt or I don't like her whole family confused me too at the end where there's all these new characters just show up. Mm hmm Because she has two aunts. Um I think Annika is, like, the one who adopted her. Okay. But everyone else is basically an aunt as well. Okay. Because I was, I was confused by who all they were. Um, but what was I saying? Her aunt. Now I don't even remember what I was saying. It's like I'm confused about her aunt. I don't know. Oh, her aunt said that, like, the other day she had, like, a moth she was trying to get out of the house and, like, cried over hurting its wing. And I was <laughs> like, what? Because we didn't really see that in her in the book. And when she said that, I was like, well, that's weird. And I don't know. It was cool, though, how she killed the guy. Mm-hmm. Who was it, Her dad? Was that her dad? The vampire? Yes. I think so. It was her dad. Yes. Mm hmm yeah. yeah. I mean, there's the whole growth, you know, from her yeah. being... <laughs> you killed the biggest baddest vampire ever and she's like yeah i did <laughs> that was funny. i like that for her but i don't i don't know i don't see how she fell in love with him mm -hmm. i don't know but i feel like i like the next one better but i didn't recognize the characters for book two. Oh, they go to the vampire brothers it's very weird like the novella i know someone said it helps set up the world, but personally, when I read the novella first, before I read this, um, A Hunger Like No Other, I was mm -hmm. so confused about everything. It felt like I was just plopped into the story. Mm -hmm. So that's why I gave it two stars when I first read it. And you read it before this? Yeah. Okay. And then when I finally I read this one, it. I went back to the novella and reread it. And it made sense? Yeah. So should I read the novella? Will that help me? Um, To get to book two, yeah. Okay. Because... The novella is, I think, another vampire brother. There's four of them, and three of them get full-length books. And Who then, are these vampire brothers? Uh, is that a spoiler? Um, are they not introduced in this book? I don't remember. I The only other vampire we met, other than the people that were all killed, was... I know was introduced towards the end. The guy who's dating the elf girl? One of her... Are they elves? Like, whatever they're called? That she's part... Remember? And, like, he helped her... Sort of an M. I think that might have been the novella couple. Oh, Roth. 
Yeah. And Mist. Yeah, that, that's the novella couple. Okay. So it's him yeah. and his three brothers. And one of them is like really crazy and kind of on the bad vampire side. There's like a good vampire and the bad vampires. Okay. So that'll be interesting. Yeah. How long is this novella? Oh, it's only 163 pages. Did she publish that before? Oh, she did. Uh, Like a month before. Yeah. Interesting. So book two, I remember reading the name Sebastian, and that did not ring a bell. Yeah. Oh, but they have the same last name, but he goes by his last name. That's weird. Okay. And that's with... A fae. Yeah. I have one of them. I have Dark Needs at Night's Edge. This is the crazy vampire brother one. Oh, okay. I have a bunch over there. Yeah. Let me see. I read these so fast, like back to back, but I can't remember who's who for each book. Usually I'm good at that, but... Let's see. So book two is a vampire brother. Mm-hmm. Three, we're back to the YK. Yes. Bowen. That one was really fun because they go on this really. This oh, Bowen. Isn't that his friend that like helped him? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That'll be fun. Is it with another werewolf? No, it's with a witch. Mm-hmm. Interesting. Yeah, there's like literally every single paranormal creature <laughs> in the series because i didn't get like his he didn't use his abilities who the lie lie guy lachlan i don't remember anything Did he turn towards the end kind of i but like what did he, he didn't do anything i mean i guess werewolves don't do anything anyways when they turn they're just werewolves yeah Okay. And she didn't do anything cool either, being a vampire. (laughs) They do. They just have pointy ears. Oh, and they can, like, can she teleport because he can teleport? I didn't get that either. I I think so. Okay. A lot was thrown at the end, and I was just like, what is happening? (laughs) Yeah. Like, the Valkyrie, their powers, you mean? Yeah. Um, They have, like, lightning and thunder. So they can just draw from it. <laughs> <laughs> they can like use it, I guess, and draw from it. I don't know. That's weird because I've never seen like the Fae have. Oh, she can't lie though, which is also in um, the Queen of Nothing books, the Cruel Prince book. Her vampire part, though, right? Is it her vampire part? I think so. Oh. Well, then that's weird. I've never heard vampires. I mean, if she's making it her own, so yeah. yeah. Does every book have a different couple? Yes. Okay. Yeah. My favorite is still Lot There. That was actually the first book that I read in the series. I jumped in. How? <laughs> book 10. Were you not How? super confused? Um, a little bit, but honestly, I mean, the first time I read it, I gave it four stars. I still really enjoyed it. <laughs> that was more things than book 10. What? His book is book 11, and it has more ratings on Goodreads than book 10 does. Because he's, like, the guy that everyone wants, you know? He's the anti-hero of the whole series. He's the one I've heard of, though, because they mentioned his name in this book. And I was like, doesn't he have his own book? Because she named yep. him after him. Yep. I don't think she did that for any other book. He's that special. <laughs> <laughs> But that reminded me that The Sinner comes out so soon. Oh, yeah. Like, what, three weeks away? Mm-hmm. Is it the weekend or the Tuesday before a polycon? Yeah. Day. And we're going to get our copies, like, a week before. <laughs> like I you. hope so. They're pushing it lately where we get it, like, <laughs> the weekend of release. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be stalking my email that whole week so I don't miss her email. Yeah. 
<laughs> but I am going to her event um, the Saturday after Polycon for the release of the center. Mm-hmm. Daddy, so and my sister is coming with me. Don't you have to order mm-hmm. a copy? Yes, uh-huh. but it comes signed. Like there's no signing with it. It's just a Q and A. Oh, so your book, I believe, comes signed. So what are you gonna do with your extra copy? I'll probably give it away. Cause mm-hmm. last time with the center that happened, and so I gave my extra copy to my sister because she didn't have it, but she's mm-hmm. coming with me, so she'll have her own copy. Yeah, but I want to go to the event, so I'll see her the sa- Sunday of a Polycon, and then I'll see her yeah. the next Saturday. <laughs> you can be like, "Hey, then." <laughs> I wonder if she'll remember me at a PodCon that I've had <laughs> once before. I talked about how much I loved Butch so much and Manny. And yeah. The guys that no one else loves. Yeah. <laughs> there are plenty of people who love Butch. <laughs> and every time you talk about the series, you're like, I know Jessica loves Butch, but. Yeah. Because <laughs> he's going to be in the center a lot, which I'm excited for. They did show her signing um, copies of it, so they have the copies done. Mm-hmm. For the Cincinnati event? Uh, it, it was just on her Facebook page. It showed, like, the dust jacket. Oh. So I don't know. Well, I'm excited, even though I don't really know who this hero is. Mm-mm. <laughs> Which is what didn't work for me for the savior. I just didn't really care about Whatever his name was. Murder? Yes. Murder. <laughs> didn't care. What do you think of the humor, though? Of what? the humor. In this book? In, yeah. There was humor in this book? <laughs> Dude! It's so funny. I love it. What was funny? Like, these, it's over the top and ridiculous, but... Yeah, I think I remember it being, like, not funny because it was <laughs> too much. No, I love it. I felt like it read very early 2000s. Yeah. But that's when all of these books were coming out, so... Especially with her iPod and... <laughs> that was funny. It was interesting how he had been... Um, locked up for like what, two hundred years? Yeah, and so he didn't know any technology. Mm-hmm. That was funny. He was like, "What is a TV?" And <laughs> that was funny. Yeah, and it's hot. Have you read her before or no? No, I've heard her one like Office romance series. Are those Office romance series? Office, like the professional. Is that the one? These yeah, are, they, they're mafia. Oh, really? <laughs> I did not know that. Uh, yeah, they're mafia. The I love mafia romances. The professional is the most mafia of them all because he's like the the hitman. But I didn't love that one. It was only three stars. But the master is my favorite. Mine and Michelle's favorite. It's so good. It's so hot. They they're all like right. they're like office romances. <laughs> They're Not just what I thought they were. Mafia men, okay? Ooh. But yeah, they're three brothers. Um, this was a series that was my first from Cresley Cole. Okay. Yeah, so first one was okay, but I love the second and third. Gotcha. Does she write contemporary that often? This was her only contemporary, I think. Because I thought she only wrote Paranormal. And then I remembered that series. I remember seeing you talk about it before. Yeah. And I just thought it was like they were business. <laughs> so sad she didn't write more. Are they old? Um, About four, five years. Oh, Gallery published it. Yeah. Okay. They didn't publish the third one. She indie published that. Thank oh. God. I wonder Book Outlet might have that then. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I'll see. She left an opening towards the third one for the heroine's sister. And I really want her story. I'm so sad. I don't think we're getting it, but we'll be writing a million and one of these books. <laughs> yeah, but it's been a while. I think she's had 
problems, like health problems or something. Because does she have other paranormal series? She has a young adult one. Young I don't adult. remember what it's called. She has a young adult series? Yep. The Arcana Chronicles. Oh, whoa. I didn't even know that. They just showed up. Yeah. I've never seen those before. Oh, she has her historical romances. I forgot. She writes historical? She did. <laughs> Another trilogy of brothers. Um, they were okay. I think I only read two of them. They're not bad, but I didn't love them. I did not know that she wrote historical, too. Oh, yeah. it's there. Well, because this one's in Scotland, and I like that. Mm -hmm. But I watched someone's channel who's from Scotland, and she I forget what her name is. And she lives in London, and she read a bunch of Scottish historical romances to talk about how realistic they are or not. And how it annoyed her how they would just throw Ken in the mix, like for no. And she's like, nobody just talks normally and then says Ken whenever they say no. She's like, that's like so like unrealistic. What? Like in contemporaries? No, in the in the these. How like the authors are obviously not Scottish, so they just throw in some like Scottish words. I mean, I, articles, I can be like, okay, fine. Yeah, but he did that too, and I was like, I wonder how realistic this talking of his is. I mean, he was like. 150 sure. or he's like a thousand years old i think yeah <laughs> and he would have like the tea cut off of his words and yeah did she ever read samantha young because she's like the only scottish author who writes scottish no but people don't like those books because yeah. of the dialogue yeah, and I'm like he's literally scottish i'm pretty sure this is accurate to how someone from <laughs> scotland would talk Mm -hmm. I've seen so many people say that in their reviews. And I was like, first of all, I didn't even notice, like, if it was annoying or not. I just, yeah. I mean, it was fine. But I think that's funny when they they complain about the accent in the dialogue. Yeah. Like, that's They're probably not Scottish themselves. Yeah. And then she's literally from <laughs> Scotland. And she lives there. She has the cutest Scottish accent. She does. Is she going to Polycon? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Is she? I don't think I saw her name on there. Yeah, I only saw her once, like the first year I went to a polycon. She canceled when I was supposed. To, she was supposed to go when I was going, and then that was last year. She canceled. Oh yeah, but then she went to the other like reasons. Yeah. <laughs> um, did you read War of Hearts though? You didn't like it, right? Yeah, it was okay. Like it had potential, but it just didn't meet them did you read book two no it's on my kindle though okay i have book one because i was so mad that her book wasn't there when i got to see her <laughs> but sarah got it for me for christmas so it's okay <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how was your birthday though it was nice very low-key <laughs> yeah kind of just went by fast yeah thanks for the present you're welcome some more Tessa Bailey for your collection. Yeah, I can actually bring something to get signed. For Tessa. <laughs> How many times have you met her? Um, like every year. Oh no, twice for a Polycon, and then like one or two times in California. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. So like, hey, it's you. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but I do love, uh, the Scottish setting and that makes me want to read a lot more historicals right now, but I'm trying to hold out for the readathon that's happening. I'm not <laughs> sure I can hold out. I've been <laughs> wanting to read Flowers from the Storm, so we'll see. Oh, I think I bought that. Didn't we talk about that one of our live shows? Mm -hmm. Yeah. I did. Where did you buy it? The half price book? Yeah. And it like has a fake setback. Oh no. <laughs> this That's is giant though. You're gonna read it for the readathon? No, before. It smells old. <laughs> I got it from half yeah, I was looking at copies on eBay. <sighs> but like I 
hate creases on my spines. <laughs> this doesn't have any. Yeah, that looks good. Did the Lisa Kleypas I sent you have a crease in its spine? Um, some do, some don't. Okay. Yeah. Let me I know what uh, pictures. What? I wish they would show pictures of the other. Like it's in good condition. I, That's I not with thrift books. It'll say like like new, and like the cover will be fine, and the spine's completely cracked. And I'm like, this is not a like new book at all. No. I don't buy from thrift books anymore because of that. Because yeah, I don't have a lot from them. Because their shipping sucks. And the, the, the packaging is literally just like the pl thin plastic thing. Oh, yeah. That's eBay, too. I don't like that. But um, if you have a list of historicals you need, I'm going to have Price Books next weekend to five mm -hmm. locations. So Okay. You need me to pay you back for Lisa Clavis? Oh, no, that's fine. Okay. Because you sent me other stuff. Okay. I mean, I'll pay you back for whatever you if got. I got. If something new, that's fine, yes. Yeah. I'm still looking for the Loretta Chase book that you told me is really good. Isn't it Loretta Chase? Oh, Lord of Scoundrels? Yes. And it's... Well, not really. It's a good book, so people want it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. But it's never at... And I always look for Kerrigan Byrne. I love them. Yeah, me too. But and they're too Beverly, new, I guess. Yeah, I guess they are. But no, none of my bookshops ever have Beverly Jenkins, which is surprising. Mm. Yeah, I've looked through mine too. They don't have it. Wait, so when are you going? Next Sunday. Okay. It's there. They have a 50% off coupon on your highest price item, so I always go. And then I'll look for mass markets because they're half price. Why do people love this book, though? I just had the screenshot on my phone, so I was like, oh, that's what Lisa, not Lisa, that's what Lacey said to read, and I should, uh, um, get it. I've heard there's some good grovel. Mm -hmm. Like a very tortured hero. He's scarred. I remember I started the first chapter, but then I was like, I don't have time for this really long book right now, so I'll save it. It's long for historical. Yeah, uh, but he is scarred. Okay. He, gets a, he has a stroke in the prologue or something how old is he he's only 20 something or like late 20 early 30s huh mm -hmm. he's a rake he was running um away from his latest um lover who was married <laughs> and her husband came home <laughs> yeah and then he suffered a stroke <laughs> yeah Trying to see when this was published. Have you read Monica McCarty's historicals? I know we've read her contemporaries, her yes. romantic suspense. Yes, I read her whole romantic suspense series. Mm -hmm. I read a couple of her um, historicals. When I first started blogging, I feel like I got a couple of them. So it was a while ago. I have to look. Were they good? I, I don't remember. It was like, I started blogging in 2011. That was wow. <laughs> a long time ago. Yeah. Have you? No, I've never read her her historicals. Only that romantic suspense from Berkeley. Only yeah. because Berkeley sent them. I like those. Yeah, me too. My mom really liked those. She likes romantic suspense books. So I always give her the ones I'm sent. Oh, <laughs> cute. Except for she, Ohio. What? I know. <laughs> um, she did, wasn't a huge fan of Elle Kennedy's because of all the, like, side plots going on. I feel like Elle's all, like, were woven together a lot and didn't mm -hmm. have standalones. Um, these were my two suspense. Aren't they different couples? Yeah, but there were, like, a lot of background oh. plot lines that went through the whole thing. So, yeah, but I like those. Yeah. Susan Enoch, I have some of her books. Yeah, I've never read her. I've read I've her. Them. Um, I love Maya Banks. Yep. Her she historical. was one of my first um, for historical romance. I love the first one. I really didn't like the second one, though. 
for In Bed with a Highlander? I don't remember. I mean, I know I loved all of them, but yeah, the first one was my favorite. I really liked it. Um, Did you read the spinoff too? No, but I have them. I don't. I I like them, but not as much as the the original. Yeah. Isn't is she even writing anymore? She has pre-orders for like her romantic suspense and even the historical one, but that one got pushed it's every single like year. Yeah. I know so she's I'm, having a lot of health issues, but Yeah. I don't think she's written a book in a few years. Yeah, I don't I think, think um Who is it? There's a few people on Instagram that keep on posting about it. About Maya Banks? Mm-hmm. Let me look. Oh, Teresa from Reads Romance. She, I feel like she uh, would, like, update us on her library hold because you can hold on pre-orders. And it's, like, yeah. your pre-order has been pushed. Like, your library order has been pushed back. And it's, like, she held it in, like, 2017 or something. <laughs> and it's still being pushed back. Yeah. I don't know. I hope she's been doing that one for years. Yeah. Um, I have not read Hannah Howell, but I own her books too. Oh, I've never heard heard of Hannah Howell. You haven't heard of Hannah Howell? Nope. What do I own by her? I own a few of them. I don't remember which ones I have. Yeah, I've never seen these. Wow. I own some of them. They're also um, Scottish. Mm Mm-hmm. Highlanders. I still need to read the um, Karen Marie Moaning Moaning. I don't know how to say her last name. Karen Marie Moaning, yes. My very romance author. I've oh I like I have my mom's copies of the first few books. Like I've had them for that long. Dang. <laughs> yeah. Like I read them because I love the Fever series and I was like, mm-hmm. yeah, I need more. And then I fell in love with Highlanders. So I read my Banks and like everyone else. Mm-hmm. So although I still haven't, I've only read five of them. They're a little paranormal too. Well, because it's time traveling, right? Yeah. Yeah. Is there more paranormal? Um, kind of. It, like, kind of overlaps with Fever a bit. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. I've only gotten through the first Fever book because I reread it finally again. Because <laughs> I read, I think, like, five years ago, four years ago. I didn't remember anything, so. <laughs> of course. Yeah. I've read Julie Garwood, The Bride. That's the only one I've read. I've not read any of hers. Doesn't she have... I think I was sent. Does she write romantic suspense too? Julie Garwood? Yeah. Okay. Um, I think I have. I have hacked or something like wired. Wired. I think that's the one I've seen. Yeah. That was my first book from her. Yes. And then I listened to The Bride in audio and I really liked it. But I kind of want to reread it as a book. Berkeley publishes it. Yeah. The Bride. Yeah, I heard Tessa Bailey loved The Bride and, like, a couple other Julie Garwood books. So I was like, mm-hmm. okay, let's try it. That's just, like, how I bought one because Penelope Douglas, I think I've told you this, wrote, named one of her characters after a historical romance. Oh, yeah. yeah then you went to the group and found it. Yeah, and yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what was it? I don't remember what it was. But I bought it because the name main character's name. I think I added it. I have so many historical romances that I bought. When I go to the clearance sale for Half Price Books, the warehouse sale that they have every summer, they're 50 cents each. So I just like oh, wow. stockpile everything. Yeah. You should just like FaceTime me and I'll be there like, oh, get that one. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I really need to. There's so many. I don't remember what it was, though. I want to read Judith McNaught. I've heard she's good, too. Yeah. 
She's always in the top lists. I have, let me see, which one do I have? Oh, I liked your video where you went through the best romances that Goodreads oh, posted. Yeah. You're like, literally never heard of this before, but if you want to say it's one of the best romances, okay. <laughs> I've not read Judith McNaught. Have you read Nora Roberts? No, I've only read J.D. Robb, her in-death books, but never Do you like Robert. What? Do you like those? I love in death. Really? Yeah. Under the covers is doing that um, read along. Yeah, I was supposed to do that, like read for it, but I forgot to. <laughs> but I know they love it, so I was going to read it. Yeah, you should try it. Mm. They so never have the first book though. Getting, getting into thrillers. It's more mystery though. Yeah, but they said there's a romance in it, right? Yes, my favorite couple. I love them. <laughs> But it's another ungodly long series. Yeah. The, like, can I? Something. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm only on book eight or nine. Isn't it like 20 now? More There's, than 20? I said 50. There's 50? Yep. How does she write that many books? She writes one every year. Maybe twice a year. I don't remember, but she writes one. It should be twice a year because it came out 25 years ago. The first book did. So, yeah, twice a year. But she writes so many other books. Yeah, she's a writing machine. But I feel bad never having read a Nora Roberts book as a romance. Yeah, me too. Like, I have her wedding one, the, the quartet. What is it called? She has a couple different series like that. I have a few of her, I don't know if it's Suspense, like The Liar is one of them that I have, and The Obsession is another one. Hmm. Yeah, I have Vision and Light, The Bride Quartet. Okay. I have the first one, the O'Dwyer trilogy. It was on clearance at Half Price Books, so I got it. I don't know if I'd like her books, though. I've heard really good things about the wedding one, the bride one. Yeah. I don't, I'm scared they're going to read like women's fiction though. But they might not. I don't know. I've never read her books. So yeah. there's just always so many of them yeah. at the bookstore. Lots of options to choose from. Yes. Oh, and Tessa Dare. She has, I don't think Tessa Dare writes Scotland though, right? She has. The first book that I read was a. Scott had a Scottish hero. Okay. I love the Wallflower Wager. Yeah. Good. Actually, I'm going to read the Duchess deal for when a Scott ties the knot. Oh. Yeah, that one was so cute. It's like she makes up a, a fiance or boyfriend or whatever mm -hmm. um, and sends him letters and makes up a name and sends him like letters and they actually arrive to the hero because oh, I've heard that the same name and now he's like yes I'm here and I need some money to help <laughs> with my castle that's so funny I feel like there's another book like that though where she like says that she's engaged to this guy who has been like gone for like 10 years and then he shows up and he's like, hey, I'm here. Like, are we engaged? And she's like, uh. <laughs> I feel like that's a new one that was coming out. I emailed Avon, though, asking for a few of their upcoming historicals. And they're like, oh, we'll let you know. <laughs> and they haven't said any publicity. It was a person I was working with for the Cassandra uh, tour. And she said she forwarded my request on. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's very hard to work with <sighs> like the Ray Kess was one of them which is what you got yeah and it looks so good look at that I cover I am oh. gonna read this one for the readathon are for you the Ray square and then you know it's so annoying though like I see the early comments on Goodreads and they're uh -huh. like ew a female Ray Kess and I'm like, um... What's wrong with that? Exactly. 
Just like how for chasing Cassandra, someone said that they didn't like the consent. Oh, yeah, the tweet. Yeah. What? Yeah, I don't know. People, what? like, think they're still reading books from the 70s and 80s. That people hate now because of no consent yeah. in those? Yeah. I mean, it's fine to like them, but don't. Hate on uh, having a, a hero that actually yeah. asks if it's okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's also why I'm scared to go back to, like, historicals from the 80s. I don't know if I, I'll like them because, like, yeah. that's what made me so mad, though, about that Joanna Lindsay obituary in that um, magazine. Like, and it often turned to rape. And I'm like. Yeah, it's like, really? You had really write that. about her life after her death. That made me mad. But I do have this right next to me, which we're reading. Oh, yeah, me too. With Fabio. Yeah, I don't have that edition. I'm you sure. don't? No, it's just the blank purple cover. This one. Oh. Not even a step back. Oh, I hate it when that's like that. Are those like her reprints when they don't have the setback? They're just those plain covers? I think so. Because I think this one's the first printing. First printing, 1987. Yeah, that's what it says. But this doesn't say the year that this was printed. Mm. But it says first printing, so it's probably not the first Mine's yellow because it's so old. Oh, <laughs> it looks almost like it's on purpose. It does. I've, I always try to buy her books now whenever I see them. And I still haven't read a single one by her. I'm going to now. Yeah, I'm only on one of them. But it was the whole non-consent thing that I was like, yeah, this yeah. is not for me. Um, which one did you read? Um... Shoot. Once a princess. Oh, okay. I have her, like, doesn't she write some, like, sci-fi ones? Maybe. Let me look. I think I have one. Unless the cover just looks sci-fi. Keeper of the Heart. Oh, no. This isn't sci-fi. I feel like they're... Look at that cover. Doesn't that look sci-fi? Oh, wow. Um... Like the leather pants. Yeah, and like her like jeweled. <laughs> like maybe Star Wars. Yeah. Like. Is it just historical or con contemporary? Um, these never tell me anything on the back. <laughs> He's a barbarian, has been chosen as her life mate. I got a futuristic one. I didn't even realize it was futuristic. This one. Oh. It's so pretty, though. You yeah. Know? But, like, I completely missed <laughs> this word. Oh. <laughs> That's funny. It doesn't look futuristic on the cover. Yeah, it doesn't. These little swans. Yeah. There's your voyeur animal, if you read that for them. Yeah. Does that count, though, for historical, if it's a futuristic? No, I'm not going to count it, but I'm going to try to read the other John Lindsay, the book that I got. It's on the back. The animal's on the back, but I'm still counting it because her leg is there. <laughs> That's funny. I like that. I didn't know um, Teresa from Reads Romance. I think it was her, unless it was Kim from Kimberly something. What's her name on Instagram? Kimberly Faye reads. Yes. Where the heroine has three arms. Yeah. I remember it vaguely. Like, I was like, I want that book now. That one. But yeah, that was funny. I might go look for that when I'm at Half Price Books. Because she has the one here, like on her arms, and then the one's touching mm -hmm. him. That's so funny. Yeah, I think I take a picture of it. Yeah, I think only people like these covers now. Yeah. Someone said they hated them in the 80s. I do think because, like, that's why I love the Ray Kess, the cover of it, because it's so yeah. nostalgic. Um, because, like, if you read this in public, 
people are going to say something. Yeah. So I don't know if that's why people hated it in the 80s or if it just, I don't know. I love these covers. Yeah. I always look at like old school romances when I'm at the bookstore. I mean, I like them now that I can appreciate them, but like when I first started reading romance, I wasn't a fan. Yeah. Um, even though like I brought Chasing Cassandra to school and was reading it during um, my guided reading class, we have independent reading. And my co-teacher was like, oh, you're reading one of those romances. Like it literally has just the woman on the cover. <laughs> like it's not even like a bad cover. <laughs> <sighs> for chasing cassandra it was just the woman that was it and she was one of those romances pretty, anyway pretty dress but people will always have something to say well i mean she likes romance she read this in the wild and liked it oh well that's yeah i mean but that's like contemporary yeah yeah um speaking of the simple wild though wild at heart <laughs> oh yeah did you like just you not like it? it yeah i did mostly because you told me it was boring so i was like okay let's adjust expectations uh, <laughs> how did you not think it was boring it was not like it's so wholesome and adorable just like being with your significant other and trying to build a life for your for you too it's no. cute I didn't care, but like I don't care like about epilogues either. Like when they're happy and like getting married and having babies, I'm like, okay, I don't care anymore. So we could just skip this epilogue because I like when they're not together and they're trying to be together. Because she literally sat around talking about what couch she was gonna buy for like forty percent of the book <laughs> and like the hot tub she was gonna buy, and I'm like, I don't care. She just whines yeah. all the time. <laughs> I feel like she didn't actually try to like Alaska. Yeah, I mean, that was the whole thing, like, of the book, of her trying, of realizing that she wasn't trying and then trying to change that. But I didn't need a whole book about that. <laughs> it's okay. I was disappointed. And I feel like we didn't get a lot of Jonah. We had a lot of them having sex. But not, not, not explicitly, but, not. like, always end up. Yeah, when he was wrong. What? That's all I did when he was home. Yeah. He wasn't like the adorable, angry guy he was in the first book. I was just like, there's no substance to this book. I don't know. But I loved book one a lot. Also, did you you have Beach Read by uh, Emily Henry? Yes. And Berkeley said they're out of arcs and can't give me one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I was even sent this. I'd never heard of it until they sent it. I did. <laughs> I talked about it in my video that they watched. So. Oh, really? Yeah, because that's why they they emailed me saying, "Hey, we saw your video, and the um, Millivane book is on the way to you." And I was like, "Oh, thank you." And they're so like, they they "What?" They just reached out. Yeah, they, like, sent that to me. I don't know if they realize I'm the same person from <laughs> my blog and YouTube, but <laughs> I've been working with them for, like, six years with my yeah. blog. But, yeah. I'm like, well, we're short on Beach Read copies, but we'll let you know when we – we put you on the list for a finished copy. And I was like, I get your finished copies, but <laughs> I don't think that person knew who I was. And, oh, speaking of not getting arcs, uh, Sarah J. Mass's book, I was rejected because I emailed them. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You told us. Yeah. I mean, I didn't even bother trying to ask because I was like, they're not going to send people are getting them. But I think they're already on the list. So, like, trying to get on the list is a little different. Yeah. I was just sad. Yeah. And I was like, Sarah, can you please read faster? But she <laughs> did. So now I'm like, okay, well, I guess I'll read on release day. <laughs> there was, I know someone on YouTube works in a bookstore and she read it and then was like passing it along to all these other books. Yeah, I think a lot of the copies that we see are also from bookstores yeah. and libraries. Yeah. Not actual blogger arcs. There are a couple though bloggers I know who got them. Hmm. And I'm like, tell me your magic ways because I want one. Are they big? What? Are they big? Is that why? They're giant. 
but oh you mean the, the, the <laughs> no they're not so maybe I'll probably like the person who asked me about the the board game we'll see <laughs> What did you do with that? Did you play it? No. I was oh. hoping when Sarah came, but she didn't. Yeah. I'm not what about to play on. We'll play. Yeah, we could. <laughs> but Sarah J. Moss isn't even gonna be there, so seriously. Which is sad. I've met her twice though, so I want yeah. my copy sign. That Waterstones edition is gorgeous with the red sprayed edges. Mm -hmm expensive on like book depository or something um i don't even know if you can buy that for it's the waterstones edition so i think you can only it's that's the uk bookstore so i think you can only get it through their website oh like with the sprayed edges that sucks and that's expensive and shipping that big of a book to the u.s <laughs> like people like the um what are they the What's the book that the Mortal Instruments that like the Rune covers? Mm -hmm. Do you know what I'm talking about? Like how they they come out with the cover, the special covers. Those are seriously expensive. And um, the Jay Kristoff books, Nevernight series, that people collect the UK editions of. Those are really expensive. And the Lainey Taylor, Strange the Dreamer. I really liked that cover. Mm -hmm. Those are expensive. <laughs> so. Like, like the, the Waterstones edition ones? Yeah. Hmm. And then people buy them just to resell them later for a super high price. Yeah. Which I didn't know people do that with, like, Alcrate and Fairy Loot. They'll buy them and then resell the books for, like, twice the amount of the box was worth. Dang. Yeah. Yeah, I didn't know that either. Yeah. People will do anything to make money. Right. <laughs> Selling arcs. Um. I know someone on Instagram who sells the books publisher sent her on Facebook and it makes me mad. Is it Carly? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just, I mean, like if uh, an, uh, the, an author, but if a publisher sending you books and one time she sold a Christina Lauren before it was released and I thought that was. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. If I ever ha don't want to keep a book and a publisher sends me, I'll either give it away or donate it. Yeah. It's just weird if you. Yeah, so. I just drop it off. Yeah. Goodwill. Yeah. <laughs> As a side note rant. <sighs> but our next book, did we ever decide for sure? For the book club? Um, I mean, kind of, right? <laughs> We, don't have we didn't come to a consensus. I mean, I made the poll and people, most people were fine with such a long book, but we could choose like a romance. Let me see. Okay. Because we want to do Sarah J. Mass's book. But I don't know if everybody's going to be able to read that in two weeks. Three. Three. We'll do oh, it Yeah. <laughs> what day should we do it? Um, not Friday. Someone's um gonna be flying in at midnight. <laughs> God, I'm okay. I'm legitimately deciding whether to change my flight because um, so then, someone was like, "Hey, are you coming?" I was like, "Oh." <laughs> So I don't have to go alone. Yes. <laughs> okay, but I have to pay an extra like two hundred dollars. Seriously? Yeah, the price is so expensive. Oh my gosh. Well, never mind then if you don't want to. Yeah. <laughs> Are you leaving on Monday though? Um, I think so. Okay. <laughs> Maybe I'll um, just do it for my birthday present. <laughs> to yourself. Well, what time would you fly in otherwise? Um, like the earliest would be starting around 5 or 6 a.m. So I'd arrive around the same time, 5, 6 p.m. 
How long of a flight is that? Well, total, it's going to be six hours and then plus three for the time difference. But then some of them have layovers. Oh, there's no direct flights to D.C.? There never is for me. Hmm. I feel like D.C. is a huge airport, though, isn't it? You would think, especially yeah. coming from LAX. But yeah. No. Weird. So we'll be flying all day, get in at midnight, and then have to wake up at, like, 5 a.m. the next morning to go get our author yeah. ticket? Yeah. I mean, I originally chose the time because I would have – I wouldn't – um leave until noon uh -huh. so i don't have to wake up early <laughs> but now okay if only they could let us know mm -hmm. a little bit earlier you um, didn't like undercover bromance what you didn't like undercover bromance no <laughs> mm. Why? What makes you say that? Are you looking at my Goodreads? No, I'm looking oh. through March book releases. Oh, okay. I was very confused what brought that up. No, I didn't like it. I gave it three stars. So, mm -hmm. I mean, because we could choose another book and talk about both. Yeah. So I mean, for now, we'll do Sergei Moss. Okay. Yes. Um, what is it called? A House of Earth and Blood? I think so. I only ever refer to it as Crescent City. Yeah. People How like it. Is it Earth and Blood? Yes. Which is a weird combination. I feel like it should be Blood and Earth. Earth and Blood? I don't know. Comes out on Tuesday. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we'll read that. And, talk about it. and it'll either be on Saturday or Sunday night. Our live mm -hmm. And we don't have to split screens. No. <laughs> well, so we hear those, I won't know what to look at. Do we look at ourselves or we look at each other? Oh, true. We'll, be <laughs> we'll figure that out. <laughs> <laughs> and Michelle, will Michelle join us? Will she read it? No, she won't. <laughs> well, she can join us. Yeah. If she wants to. Be an honorary guest. Mm -hmm. Just input. Okay, well, yeah. I need to go to sleep now because it's 10 o'clock here. <laughs> Only seven where you are. That's weird. Yep. That's really Only weird. Dinner. All right. Well, I will see you in a month. Yes, in person. Yay. Yay. I'm excited. Yes. Thank, thank you, everyone, for joining in. Yes, thank you. And we will see you guys in a month. Bye. Bye.